Tenet, Endgame, Interstellar, Back to the Future, and my favorite TV series, Someday or One Day, what is it they all have in common? Time travel. We all dream about traveling in time. Could be because it's a mistake we want to fix in the past, or we just want to know what lies ahead in our futures. It's absolutely normal. The million-dollar question for us to answer is: Is it actually possible traveling in time? According to the special relativity of Albert Einstein, a moving clock would appear to tick more slowly if approaches the speed of light. So, if we were on the spaceship traveling at that speed, the clock inside the spaceship would appear to be at a much slower rate than the one on the Earth. So, if it takes 40 years for us to travel to the space and back to the Earth, by the time we're back, we will realize the time on the Earth is much, much more ahead. Wait, but how can we survive traveling at the speed of light? But anyway, that's how we theoretically travel to the future. The question for us to answer is: What about traveling to the past? There are many, many paradoxes disputing that traveling to the past is just scientifically impossible. One of the most famous paradox of all time is the grandfather paradox. It talks about how we travel to the past and murder our own grandfather, and thus make our existence impossible. If we do not exist in present, then who actually traveled to the past and murdered the grandfather? Well, it's a paradox. One of the common way to make the paradox work is to assume that time is not linear. So that means that when we thought a paradox is form, it's not form. So by the time we murder our grandfather and thus make our existence impossible, the grandfather would not have been. Able to be murdered because we were not born. If the grandfather were not murdered, then we would be able to be born. Then we would be able to travel back in time and murder the grandfather. So a closed time loop is developed. Wait, if we take a look at the loop, we will realize that there are two interesting states occurred at the same time, which is the grandfather is alive and dead. And we were born, and not born. But how is that possible? Well, it actually it exists in quantum mechanics today, called superposition. Superposition refers to a system where multi-state is allowed. So, in the context of time travel, that would mean that more than one reality occurs at the same time. That would mean time is not linear and has more than one dimension. And that would mean. Another you must exist somewhere else. On 28 of June 2009, the late theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking threw a party for time travelers. The key here is that he sent the invite only after the party. This would essentially only allow people who could travel backwards in time attend the party. As you expected, no one turned up. And Hawking concluded that time traveling backwards is not possible. Well, some people argue that wait, it must be the invite looked very dull, or the time traveler wouldn't be able to travel to that point, so that no one attended.、Mm, I think it is possible, but there's only one one arguments that would never ever believe. That would be saying time travelers have never heard of Stephen Hawking, so they did not want to attend. Let's be honest. If time travelers do exist, they probably have read and used so 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 many ideas from Stephen Hawking to be able to travel in time. I don't buy it. Anyway, so that's everything about time travel from a scientific point of view. We cannot travel to the future yet, and we cannot travel to the past, so we should focus at the very present. And to me, in the next two weeks' time, is to see the someday one day's film. I have watched, I have、um, finished the TV series of Someday or One Day, and I want to say that unlike most of the time traveling stories, it's such a special one. It's such a special one because it's about love. 
It's about the self-identity issues we all struggle at some point. It's about how we're naturally drawn to a certain type of personality, which inevitably leaves some other people suffer in silence. I have learned so much from watching the drama, and I really cannot wait to see the film. I know that if you are based in the UK, United States, Australia, or New Zealand, the film will be out at the local cinema from the 13th of Jan. And if you are based in Asia, where I'm originally from, the film will also be available very soon by the early February. So please check the official website of the film. I would really want to hear your thoughts about someday or one day. I definitely encourage you to watch the drama before you go to the cinema to check its sequel. I will probably share my thoughts after I check the film. And that's it today. And I hope you enjoy the video. And I really look forward to speaking to you soon. Goodbye.